Hi, welcome to my channel, C. Mary Make. And I thought I would throw this video together. It's a short one of how I turned uh, just a regular like $12 basket from Walmart into a tree collar for my pencil tree. Um, and here I'm showing, I bought it hoping that I would just be able to set the tree inside of it, but that was not the case. And I um, found that it was going to have to go, the basket was going to have to be upside down. But anyway, I have this skinny pencil tree that um, I was setting up for the first time. And I couldn't find a collar that fit it the way I wanted it to. All the collars I found when I was looking were going to be way too big for it. And like even bigger than the base of the tree is. And I mean like the bottom layer of the um, branches. And I also was looking for something that wasn't your typical round shaped one. And after searching at several different places, I ended up just buying this basket at Walmart for, like I said, about $12. And here I'm just using a knife to cut the bottom out of it. A knife, a, not a knife, a, um, a box cutter, an X-Acto blade. And there is a support pole all the way across the bottom of it, which is why I'm cutting it the way I am there. There this wasn't hard to do and um, it really only took me about 30 minutes and since I didn't mention anything about it at the beginning of the video all you really need is a basket an exacto blade some sort of blade or scissors and um, hot glue and I also used a hacksaw so yeah, I just cut into the, um, just a straight line from the corner of the rectangle I cut out to the edge of the basket. I didn't want to just cut everything off directly to the edge because I wanted to have a finished appearance because I want to be able to use this repeatedly. So if I would have just cut it all off to the edge, things would start fraying after a while. And this way, I'll glue it down and it'll have a nice, smooth, finished edge. And hopefully it should last me for years. Now I'm um, just cutting right next to that little support pole in the middle there. To push the, I guess you could call it wicker down. It's not really wicker. Um, and... Now I'm using the hacksaw just to cut that off. I actually did try to use wire cutters first, my big pair, to see if it would work. And it probably would work if you're stronger than me. Like if my husband had been home, I probably could have had him do it and he probably could have gotten through it with the wire cutters. But I could not get through it with the wire, wire cutters. I tried for about 15 minutes before I gave up. So once it was almost cut, I just pulled on it until it snapped all the way and then I just bent the other side back and forth until it came off and then it was kind of stuck to one of the little pieces of wicker or fabric or whatever it's made of and um yeah I just cut that off and now I just have to glue all the sides down so I have the sniffles I spent the day sitting outside in the 30 degree weather well, the, the latter part of the day, um, our town's holiday parade was today and both my, um, two, my two oldest kids were in it with their football team and cheerleading team. So I'm sorry, I've been sniffling this video and I'm going to keep sniffling. <laughs> okay. So I'm just putting hot glue underneath it and using my little, I think that's actually like a makeup it's like a little silicone like mask spreader for face masks and I use it to sometimes push down on top of hot glue if I'm gluing something that I think is going to seep through and I'll burn myself but I got pretty impatient with this and um, I just wanted to get it done 
because I'd had the tree set up for probably about two weeks at this point and hadn't like I'd been looking for a collar this whole time and it was I was I was ready to have it done and decorated I'd put the lights on it but I felt like I definitely didn't want to put anything else on it because I obviously I had to take the little base thingy off to see if it would fit and then I had to take it off to um, put the tree in the collar when it was done. So I just had this tree with just lights on it sitting in my living room for two weeks and this was... I always like to have a tree decorated by Thanksgiving. I like to have a Christmas tree up by Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't decorate for Christmas for Thanksgiving. I don't care. I like it. My grandma always did it as a kid. And it gives me, I guess, sort of a sense of nostalgia for when we used to go over to her house and have really big family Thanksgivings. She always had her small tree up in her den decorated. Anyway, yeah, so you're just going to, and my son's sticking his head in, um, you're just going to glue down all the sides nice and um, firm. You could use like E6000 or something with this to give it a more um, permanent stay. And I'm sorry if you can hear all that noise, like, like light thumping and jingling, like a bell in the background. One of my cats is inside of my room with me and the other one is outside of the door and they're like slapping at each other through the crack under the door. You might even hear them like making little meows and little purring sounds. We just got a, a new kitten a few weeks back actually. And um, he is always playing, always. Anyway. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Once all of these are glued down, then it's done. And I didn't, but you could decorate if you did do something like this where it's plain. You could decorate with all kinds of things after you're done altering it. I toyed with the idea of putting ribbon on it or printing something on or cutting out something on my Cricut to put on it or decorating it with ornaments, but I, I, I just opted not to because I did this tree with kind of like a, like a farmhouse-y kind of vibe this year. But next year I won't be using this tree with the same decorations. Next year I'm gonna put this tree upstairs and let my kids put all of their ornaments on it, like their, their things they've made at school and um, things like that on it. And next year I'll probably do my, my big tree with the whole kind of farmhouse-y vibe. Because I actually really like it. I really like the way this, this I didn't know if I was going to like it. But I really like the way it came out and I, I'm I'm one hundred percent sure I want to do my big tree the same way next this way next year. Which you'll see because I'll show you at the end um everything all done with the tree in it. And oh I probably should I probably could have cut this part out some because this is a lot of gluing. But it's a it's a pretty short video. And I did do, something I did do on here was as I was going around, when I got to, to the parts where I had cut off that little, that little rail going across there, I put a big dollop of hot glue on top of it just to make sure no one would uh, like scrape themselves or cut themselves on it. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Just go back around when you're done and make sure you've hit like all the corners good and and all that. Um, like I said, if you want to make sure it's a more permanent, long-lasting hold, you can 
you can use another glue like E6000 in combination with the super glue and see I super I hot glued it to the carpet a little there I don't know if you saw that but it's done and it looks really finished I think it does anyway I like think it looks like it could have been bought this way and yeah I'm just going back and putting another dollop on top of those spots because I really want to make sure no one gets hurt on them and then I'm putting a few little dollops in the corners to make sure that's pressed down really good. Just be careful not to burn yourself sticking your fingers in corners over hot glue like this. See, I, I did use the little silicone thing at this part, but it didn't work that well. So you see, I'm, I moved it and used my, my thumb instead. But that's it. It's pretty much done. I'm going to have a couple um, more Christmassy type of things coming out. Oh, look, the cat's inspecting it. Um, sorry about the little bells jingling and the little kittens crawling all over the bed and attacking my cord to my headphones. But here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.